Martin, congratulations, back to back first round wins here at Ali Pali. Just sum up for us your emotions after that game. Yeah, if um, I weren't hitting my doubles as good as I was, I think I would have been in a little bit of trouble. If he would have hit his doubles, I would have definitely been in trouble. But, you know, I'm a scrapper, that's what I do. You said you loved playing last year, you love it on the big stage. How special is it to retire here uh, this year and play in this tournament again? Oh, every player wants to come here. It's not about special, it's just you want to come to the World Championships. You fight every... All year round, you're just fighting, fighting, scrapping, doing whatever you've got to do to get here. This is the main one everyone wants. No matter how many people talk, say this major, that major, everyone wants to do the world, don't they? <laughs> you speak about the year as a whole, obviously 2022 was your break for you in the BBC. How would you assess your 2023 year so far? Well, beginning of it, obviously, my wife fell ill and stuff. I'm not going to go into that, but she got the all clear six, seven weeks ago. We sort of know, knew she was all right before that. But um, yeah, I started playing Super League again, three nights a week, county, I'm back to money leagues on Thursdays, open competitions. I'm doing whatever I've got to do to get to practice in. Because I can't practice indoors no more. So to talk about your preparation, how key was that for you in this game? You said about like doubling as well, so how could you finish in more? How important are those type of small tournaments around the ground? Oh, they've been, they've been brilliant. If my scoring's on and my doubling's on, I'm hitting 100 pluses. But sometimes my scoring's let me down now where my doubling's going in really good, I'm hitting ton plus finishes, but it's just that scoring's let me down a little bit now. But if I'm getting both together with a bit of consistency, you never know what happens. And uh, Damon Hetter, round two, played three times on the Euro Tour. You've come out successful twice out of those three. How do you fancy chances here at Ali Pali? He's lucky I missed a big number on that last one. But no, no, Damon's an absolute gentleman. He's a great fella. And uh, we always have battles. I'm looking, up. I'm look I'm looking forward to it. Martin, huge congratulations. After the year you had last year, how much pressure was there on you going into this year? To be fair, I'm not going to go into whatever, but my wife fell ill. I weren't even going to play darts, but she kicked my bum out to say, right, you're going to go play darts. Nothing's going to change. And luckily, I think it was four, three or four weeks ago, we actually got... We sort of knew she was all right, but we actually got the thumbs up three or four weeks ago. And I'm just like, right, head down now, let's do this. The fact that you've done it last year, did that give you the confidence and the belief that you could just go back and do it again this year then in the back end of the year? Well, the results all back in the uh, uh, beginning of last, uh, this year, I weren't playing very well. You know, most Euro uh, Pro Tours, I was going out first round or whatever, but the back end, I realised the wife was okay and I started getting results and it's got me to Players' Championship Finals and the Worlds in the end. So, that shows when, when your mind's right. That run at the Grand Prix that you had last year proves that you can do it on the big stage. Are you looking for that as inspiration heading into the World Championship? Oh yeah, I'm better on the stage, I think, than on the floor. I don't know, I don't know that, but I, I think I am, I don't know, I feel better up there than I do on the floor. Even on the floor, I've had some crazy averages and stuff, but my consistency is getting better. Super leagues, I'm hitting 30 pluses all the time. County, I've, you know, I'm hitting 30 pluses. Just like that, consistency is getting better and better. If I can get to that 95 plus, near enough every game, you know, you're, you're competing. And that's my aim. Right, many congratulations. Cheers, pal. Martin, you talk about Super League, County, that helps you get back into form. How important has that been going into Ali Pali? I, I can't practice indoors no more. I keep picking up bad habits. <laughs> Keep going back and forwards, I'm in flip flops, shorts, boxer shorts, whatever. And I'm just picking up so many bad habits where if I don't throw indoors, I'll just go out Monday night, Wednesday night, I play Money League on a Thursday night and then Super League Friday and then I play County some weekends if, if not I'm going to open competitions. It's the best practice you can get to be fair, that like competitive practice. Even if you're on last, you've got a spare board there and you're throwing three or four hours, if you get there at five, six o'clock, you know, you're just practicing all day, isn't you? And there's people in front of you, you're not rushing back and stop flicking about with your darts or whatever. You're just, you're just practicing, you're just throwing. And these, you talk about these last six, seven weeks, you've had that time to, to focus on the darts. It's been some really good stuff. Has it been a case of a, a clearer mind in these last six, seven weeks? That oh, yeah, you? definitely, definitely. Beginning, I didn't want to really play, to be fair. It was only the wife that kicked my bum out. I said, yeah, you're going to play darts, nothing's changing. But she got it all clear, bless her. Love her, so that's it. If it was left to you, do you think you'd have stopped playing for a little bit? I wouldn't play for a while, not until I know she was right. I didn't want to play darts. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, I, 
I don't know how to do. Martin, you mentioned that you feel more comfortable on the stage than on the floor. What do you put that down to? I don't know, I'm just a scrapper, aren't I? I'm like Nathan Aspinall 2.0, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a bulldog. I just go in, I just do what I've got to do at the right times, and I just I do well on the stage. Counties, whatever I play on stage, I play well. For all events, if I'm on it, I'm on it. I win a lot of local competitions or whatever, but I don't know, I just love it on there. I did have the bit of hibby jeebies up there tonight. First time in was it nearly three years I've had a tour card. That's the first time I had the bit of uh, the bit of the shakes. But yeah, I got through that. A couple of uh, bottles of water and break. And that win now puts you just outside the top 32. How big of an achievement would it be to get into that top 32 of the world? Well, that was my aim for the beginning of the year. I mean, obviously I lost to Luke in the last TV comp. I didn't even run for his money though, didn't I? Bless him. But yeah, I missed a couple of doubles, bullseyes, but he's the boy's quality. But yeah, I was hoping to get there, but it didn't happen, so I'll do it here. Martin, big rather, thank you. Thank you. Martin, uh, green paddy power seems to suit you. Uh, did you enjoy the stage? It's quality. I, why don't I get one of them boards with a green treble? What's that all about? Why, do, why don't you not get them? That would look perfect with my smash boards. <laughs> Same colour green and everything. Give David, aren't you? <laughs> um, you, seem you hear that? Like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you seem a lot more relaxed now, and with the first round out of the way, do you feel up for it? Oh yeah, I can't wait to play Damon. Me and Damon go battle, battle. He hates playing me. I don't really particularly like playing him, but I'm the underdog. He's got to perform. If not, I'll just nick these doubles and do these little bits of scoring and just do what I've got to do. It's a set play, you know? Grand Prix was the last one I played and I got quarterfinals. Played great. Congratulations. Thank you, pal.